Hi, Rob Parker here from Peach Software. I've got 10 tips for you in regard to the point of sale and the invoice screen. Most of them are common to both, and uh, there may be things there that you may not be aware of. Uh, just a faster way of getting around Peach Software. So uh, here we go with point number one, searching for products. Doesn't matter which screen you're in actually, any transaction screen, when you're searching for a product, uh, you can use a point to go and search in description. But you can use up to three keywords in the description. So any order is fine. So if I type in uh, I know uh, filter oil, uh, then that'll come up with any part numbers which have got those three words in the description and in any order. So that's hint number one. And of course you can use the plus search the way that works is, if I want to find a part number where the start of the description is a particular string, uh, I can use the plus, so plus, red, and that comes up with all the part numbers starting with the characters R-E-D -E -E in the description. So that's hint number one for you. Number two is the F11 screen. So once you've got a part number up on the screen, we'll just get the good old Z9 up there, if you want to know more about this product, you can simply press F11 or you can go to options and uh, you can find the uh, product status and then it'll tell you everything you need to know about that product. So all the description, barcodes, supplies, groups, subgroups, prior pricing. So this is actually telling you what price you sold this product to this customer last time it could be a list of all the sales dates, how many they bought and how much they paid for them, all the alternatives for that part number, all the areas that that part number is in. So if you've got multiple branches, you can see where all the products are, all the supplier orders for the product outstanding, customer orders for the product, back orders and notes about the product. So all these details can be found out about the product and edited by the way. So some of the details in here can be edited on the fly in product, so it's like a mini product control screen. Okay, so that's the status screen. The next one is pricing. So did you know that in the discount view, you could use X, V or L. Now X stands for current cost, V stands for average cost, L stands for last cost. Uh, where this come from, we'll just go back to the, uh, the uh, status screen for a second. And uh, you've got three costs here. So there's your current, your last, your average. So that's X, L, and V. So let's see what happens with those. So if I go into the discount column and type in a V30, that's going to make it average cost plus 30% GP. If you're in a point of sale screen, including GST, it's going to add the GST on. If you're in an invoice screen, which is X GST, it'll be 30% on top of average cost without the GST. Easily, I could go back to, for example, and, and type in X30 or X20, let's say, and that's current cost plus 20%, and easily just go back and put in, let's say, or 40, and that's last cost plus 40%. So that makes it easy for you. So that's using X, L, and V. So remember, X is current cost, V is average cost, L is last cost. Change the price level for the entire invoice. So right now, this customer is on price level C. If I wanted to change that, I could simply go up here, uh, type in uh, A, put the price level A, apply that discount, and now it's on price level A for the entire invoice. Of course, we can change that back per line if we want to, so we put that line on price level B. Now, also what you can do is you don't have to stick to A, B, C, D, E, F, which are the six price levels in product control, as you can see here. You could actually go back here and say, look, I want price C, uh, and I want to give them an extra 10%. So you can type in C10, and that'll give you price C less 10%. If I wanted to give price C uh, and add 10% on, I could put C minus 10, and that builds it up a little bit. So there's a few different ways of changing your pricing while you're in a point of sale or an invoice screen. All of these features are the same, doesn't matter which screen you're on. Now, to credit an entire transaction. So let's just cancel this transaction for a second. And we'll go back to customer 003. And let's say we want to credit the transaction. 
So the easy way is to credit the entire transaction is we go straight to a credit screen and then we can retrieve and we can retrieve prior invoices. So if I wanted to credit, let's say this invoice here, uh, it's only got one part number on it, perhaps let's find a larger one. Uh, there you go, there's an invoice with two parts on it, so we want to credit the entire lot. So we just go OK, ask if the parts want to be retrieved into the new transaction, OK. And the parts are in there, update it, and you've credited the entire invoice. Uh, you can, if you like, just delete a part, just by pressing the cross there, delete that, and you can credit just that item. So there's a way of crediting the entire or part of the invoice. So we'll just cancel that. And I'll also show you how to copy an invoice. So again, if you load the customer up, and let's say we know what they bought last time, we want to sell them exactly the same range of parts. Just escape out of that for a second. We can retrieve an invoice. So invoice, pick the invoice you'd like to retrieve and re-invoice and you can tick retrieve parts into a new transaction. So we can copy this transaction, OK, and OK. And even if you like, you could actually change the customer and charge exactly the same items out to a different customer just in case uh, you wanted to copy that invoice. So there's a good way to, to credit an entire invoice. Um, did you know also that you can duplicate a point of sale screen, a customer order screen, an invoice screen. So let's say I'm halfway through a transaction here. Uh, I can make a copy of that screen. And so I'm onto a new point of sale screen here. So I can actually do the whole point of sale there. And once I'm finished, it will close. So you can see here that there's actually a couple of point of sale screens open, this one and this one. And um, we can just simply close one of them. and go back to the original invoice. So there's a way of having two screens up at once. Remember, that can be used in customer order, it can be used in invoice, point of sale, and many other transaction screens. Okay, picking a delivered to customer. So this is for the invoice screen users. So back to the invoice screen. Let's say I've got a customer, I'm making a sale to that customer, but I want to deliver it to a different customer. So all I need to do is click on Deliver To. Sorry, I didn't. There we go. There's a list of customers. Uh, it's easy as a mouse. And uh, you can pick the customer you want to deliver to. And that puts the Deliver To customer's address and details into the delivery. And uh, you can easily ship it off to the other customer there. Uh, shortcut to customer control and marketing. When you've got a customer loaded, simply all you do is click on Customer and you back in customer control, it's a short form customer control, and from there you can see contacts, you can go to marketing notes, uh, and back to customer, and cancel it if you like, close it. You can view prior transactions as well. So that's a nice short way back to customer control, and then a shortcut to product control. So let's load a product number up here, again, the good old Z9. And here, if I wanted to get more details about that product, back to like a small customer control screen, click on one, and there you are, I'm back at the customer con uh, product control screen. So I can find out all the information I need to know about that product. So there you go, there's a bit of information, a few tidbits that may speed up the way you can operate Peach Software. And just remember, if you need to know more information about most of the screens in Peach Software, you have the question mark here, and once you hit the question mark, it opens up our website and it'll take you to the page in our website to do with that screen. So um, there's lots of information, lots of resources there about how to use Peach, uh, which you can give to your new staff if you like as well, so that they can uh, train more. So there's a lot of information there about the point of scale screen, uh, about some of the information I've already spoken about. Okay, well. Thanks for listening in and uh, we'll talk to you soon. If you have any questions uh, or if you want to use some of this you can't quite remember, feel free to call Peach Software Support and uh, the guys here will help you out. Thank you.